today we are invited to come to this experience and witness the radiant love in Mark and Chelsea. I was stand that far away and it is absolutely wonderful. Your face lights up with the radiance of their love for each other. Just so special. I've heard that it's said that people come into our lives for a reason and that we're led to those who help us most to grow if we let them. Um, well, I don't know if that, I believe that's true, but I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. She's literally one of the most courageous people I think I've ever met. Um, she's constantly teaching me how to be better, and she's constantly teaching everyone around her how to be better. So when she called me, and she was like, ooh, I do, I do, I do, I do, I was like, oh no. <laughs> She met a guy named Mark. <laughs> and she was, I mean, dropping Hamilton lines and talking about how she was in love with this guy. And um, I knew it was, it was over. And then we met Mark, he's hysterical. But it really, it brings so much joy to my heart that Chelsea finally found that one person who will stand by her. And I'm very excited. As I look at you, Chelsea, I can't help but reflect the years I was lucky enough in which to grow into the beautiful woman you are today. You captured my heart the day you were born, and I have become more and more in awe of you as the years have passed. You are the sunshine of my life. Chelsea, you brighten any room you walk into. You instantly make me smile. I think you are divine. I think you are wonderful. And I think that Mark is the luckiest man alive. <laughs> To love is not to possess, to own or imprison, nor to lose one's self to another. Love is to join and separate, to walk alone and together, to find a laughing freedom that isolation just doesn't permit. It is finally to be able to be who we really are, no longer clinging in childish dependency, nor living separate lives in silence. It's perfectly joined in commitment to another and to one's inner self as well. Love only endures when it moves like waves, receding and returning, gently or passionately, in the moon's own predictable harmony. Because finally, despite a child's scars or an adult's deepest wounds, they are openly free to be who they really are and always and secretly were meant to be.